Uh, what did you guys decide? Well, we did to pick a wine of the year this year. I, I know we didn't do this last year, and now we're doing it remote. I'm coming to you from our office here in Napa, and I'm in the cellar. Um, and of course, as you know, because we've done this before, it takes us a full year to get to this point. And this year, our editors uh, tasted over 12,000 wines, and we are now whittling that down to the top 100 based on score, based on the price of the wine, based on the number of cases made. And then, of course, the X factor, which is the story behind the wine. And I think we've got a great wine this year that has uh, all of those combinations, all of those factors combined together to, for some really something really exciting. All right. So do you want to actually tell us what is uh, behind curtain number one there? I do want to tell you. It's, it's, it's a little glare on it because, of course, we wrapped it in pure gold. This year we have selected the Dominus 2018 Napa Valley. This is a Napa Valley Cabernet blend. And it's... Um, from owner Christian Mouex, for people in the wine industry, Christian Mouex is an absolute legend. He has a 50-year career uh, that started in Bordeaux with a couple of prominent properties, perhaps the likes of Petrus, will ring a bell for you. He also owns Chateau Trottenois, Le Fleur Petrus, Bel Air Monange. In the early 1980s, he came over to California and he bought into the historic Napa Nook Vineyard, which has been in existence since the late 19th century. Uh, by 1995, he was the sole owner. And in 2018, this wine hits a new level at 97 points. Frontline pricing is $269 a bottle. There were 4,000 cases made. And the really exciting thing about this wine is it comes from a dry farm vineyard. And anybody following along probably knows just how difficult it is to get water in California these days. And to dry farm, which means no irrigation, is a very difficult choice to make. You have to make it early on in your, in your process of making wine. He did that back in the 80s, and it's paying dividends today with this absolutely world-class bottling, Dominus 2018. James, it's Robert Frank. When you look at the wine market, especially the high end of the wine market right now, it is just bonkers. Sotheby's just sold a bottle of Romani Conti in, in Paris for $400,000. That works out to $2,000 per ounce. A lot of this is driven by online bidders, younger collectors coming into the market. How do you see online changing the market? Is it growing the market? Is it cannibalizing? Or is it bringing in new buyers? That's a good question. We're not sure if these are new buyers or not who are coming into this market. And I wouldn't say it's cannibalizing because that's the secondary market. A lot of those wines that, they're, that are in the auction market were already released. If not recently, then they're buying older bag vintages. So this is a, a supply of wine that kind of tends to move around the world a little bit and gets whittled down bit by bit. There's always new wine coming out. There's always world-class wine coming out. And some of those domains, for instance, Romani Conti, which you mentioned, they release new wines every year. So the supply gets right. replenished. Um, you know, it's kind of like the art world or some yeah. of these other things. I think there's a lot of cash in the marketplace that's okay. being thrown around, and it's understandable.